Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss the fourth problem of lead code weekly contest 313, which is maximum deletions on a string. So we are given a string S, uh, and we have to delete the entire string S by the following two operations. We can either delete the entire string, or we can delete the first i letters of S if the first i letter is equal to the following i letters. So we can either delete the entire string, or we can either delete some prefix. And we have to delete the uh, sorry, we have to return the maximum number of operations we can do to delete the entire string. So let us take this second case A A B A B. So let us take this A A B A B. So uh, what would be our possible choice? In the first operation, we can delete the first character because A is equals to the next character A. So we will delete the first character. So let mark it as yellow. Now it is deleted in the first operation. So the, our uh, array will become Sorry, the string will become a b a b now what will you do you can check it that we can either delete this first a or we can delete the entire thing a b uh, you might think that the deleting the first character is uh, beneficial for us but um, when you will do that let's do that only so if we delete only the first character then the uh, remaining string will be a b a b now there is no prefix such that the uh, next i characters of the prefix will be same so we have to delete the entire string so the total number of operation here will be i think two uh, i think three because we are first deleting this a and then deleting uh, another a and then in deleting the entire string the answer will be three but there is another uh, uh, more beneficial way like the more number of operations we can do if we uh, now the a is deleted so the remaining string is a b a b now if we check that the first three character a b the first prefix of three link is equals to the next three characters so we can delete this prefix so let's delete this and now uh, our remaining string will be what our remaining string will be now a a b now uh, we will delete the first character again so let's delete the first character uh, mark it as yellow and let's move forward and uh, now uh, a now it will be a b and now delete the entire thing so let's mark it as green so the total number of operations here you can check is that one two three four so it is more beneficial to delete a b in the second step than to delete only a so uh, and now check at the constant the constant is uh, length of a is less than equals to 4000 okay so how we can solve this problem so for solving this problem you uh, need some kind of dp uh, like uh, this dp is very well known so let me write it so this dp is called longest common prefix of two strings uh, i and j so in the cp of i j notes uh, here uh, if we take two strings let's say uh, we are taking two strings s and t so in the cp of i comma j here means is that uh, what is the longest uh, um, common substring sub starting from the index i of s and starting from the index j of t so lcp of ij means that only so let's take an, an example let's say a c is a a b a and another uh, t is let's say a b a now if we do lcp of 0 comma 0 so what will it be lcp of 0 comma 0 is the longest substring which is uh, starting from index 0 of s and index t of s it will be 1 because it will be only a so lcp of uh, 0 0 is equals to 1 now let's take another case lcp of uh, the 1 of s and 0 of t so it will be 2 because you can check is that here a b will be the longest prefix here also and here also so answer lcp of 1 0 will be 2 so it is considered uh, now i think you got my explanation what is lcp of ij for two strings um, s and t now let's consider lcp of ij in a single string so now uh, let's redefine lcp lcp of ij means uh, longest substring uh, which is starting at uh, longest substring considering s equals to uh, s of uh, what you can say s of i let's say our original given string is s let's consider it as a like a is our given string a is a a, a b a b or anything that is given in our uh, test case so let's consider a says a from i to end and t is nothing but a of j to end so if we consider this longest substring of a and t 
then we will get LCP of IJ. That's how we can define LCP in a uh, single string. I hope you got it. So now let's uh, consider this LCP array for this string A, A, B, A, B. So let's take this A, A, mm, why is it not happening? A, B, A, B. So uh, let's uh, try to build the LCP of I and J array. So now consider LCP of 0, comma, what we can say LCP of 0, comma, 1. So LCP of 0, comma, 1 will become what? Um, sorry, it will become A, A. I think it will be A. So LCP of 0, comma, 1 will be 2. Okay. Now let's uh, consider another thing LCP of 0, comma, 1, 2, 3, 4. LCP of 1, comma, 4. Let's consider LCP of 1, comma, 4. So if we consider LCP of 1, comma, 4, it will be A, A, B. I guess, yeah, it will be AB, so it will be 3. Okay, I hope you got my explanation what is LCP of IJ. Now let's move into the solution. So, uh, how are we solving it? So, first we are calculating LCP of IJ. So, um, you can check the um, like the calculation of LCP of IJ in Geeks for Geeks. You can directly search longest common prefix uh, between two strings. So, now let me explain it. Uh, LCP of IJ will be equals to 0 if SI not equals to SJ. Else, uh, else it will be let me this, uh, else it will be equals to 1 plus uh, LCP of I plus 1 J plus 1 it is quite straightforward you can uh, already get it by seeing the recurrence relation I hope you got it now let's move on to the solution here we are uh, calculating LCP of I J 1 plus LCP of I plus, I plus 1 and J plus 1 uh, as we are calculating I plus 1 J plus 1 first we have to iterate backwards uh, in reverse order so we have to start from n minus 1 and go back to the 0 and if same for the j because we are just uh, depending on the lcp of i plus 1 j plus 1 and now another uh, array dp we are considering so uh, what is dp here so uh, what we are doing so dpi dpi means that we are uh, minimum number of uh, sorry maximum number of operations to delete the suffix of starting at i so dpi is nothing but minimum number of operations to delete the suffix of i so dpi will be nothing but maximum of 1 plus dpj so what is the dpj so dpj will nothing but will delete the substring from si to j so if we consider the uh, suffix uh, like if we consider the suffix from starting from si as a string then uh, if we uh, want to delete the substring starting from i and ending at j so then what we should happen like it should be equals to LC lcp of j plus 1 to i plus the length so what is length length is nothing but sorry j plus the length so uh, length is nothing but uh, j minus i plus 1 so this should be uh, like uh, this length like this prefix will be equals to this prefix like the uh, first length character will be equal to the next length characters so that's what I, I am checking here if of LCP of IJ greater than equals to J minus I so LCP of IJ means that the like this prefix like starting from I and uh, starting from J so LCP of IJ greater than the length uh, so I am considering DPI is equal to maximum DPI comma DPJ plus 1 and at the end we are returning DP of 0 uh i hope you got my explanation if you still have any doubt in the dp part you can always ask me in the comment section i will try to reply each and every comment please like the video and subscribe to my channel thank you i will provide also, uh, the code in the description box too please uh, subscribe to the channel thank you